This is my review of the UHC clip filter from Astronomic. A clip filter is one which fits snugly into the opening of your DSLR or mirrorless camera body behind the lens that you may attach, um, and this avoids the need to buy one for each of the other lenses you may use. When we say UHC, we mean ultra high contrast, and it's intended to filter out wavelengths which are not helpful for sky watching um, while keeping the more desirable nebula gas emission light. The UHC filters from Astronomics are intended for visual observing. There's a different version which I probably should have started with, and that would be the CLS or City Light Suppression Filter. It has a wider bandpass than the uh, UHC filter and is more suitable for an unmodified camera like mine. Astronomic filters claim to be optimized for use with f4 to f5 focal lengths, which is what I was shooting at in these examples of Comet Neowise. On the left is a photo that was taken of Neowise from my light polluted skies in North Texas, and on the right was taken from the same location without any filters at all. So I would say that the UHC is not a good filter for pulling out details from the comet's tail. There's quite a distinct color balance shift that happens when using the UHC filter, as you can see in the display here, the top clip with the filter in and the bottom without any filters. I have yet to find a good color balance setting for my camera to mitigate this, so I always shoot in RAW to make changes during processing. The clip filter uh, includes a small plastic hook, which is useful in pulling out the filter without smudging it with your fingers. The plastic case um, is solid and has good foam padding and a little place for your hook. Check down below in the description for links to the filters I've talked about in this video, as well as a link to another video by Camille Pekla, who did a good job on what to expect with a CLS clip filter. I hope this video has been of interest to you. If so, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of this type of content as I explore this new hobby of astrophotography, please consider clicking that subscribe button.